Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. So get this, Google has completely redesigned the Google Play Store. In this video, we'll explore this new Play Store and do some quick comparisons to the old one. First, let's talk about some features. Upon a cursory glance, it doesn't appear as though Google has added any additional features to the new Play Store. In most cases, it's the same old stuff with new clothes on. You can still surf by app, movies, music, books, etc. You can still see what's trending and the hottest new stuff. So in that regard, very little has actually changed. However, there are a few things here and there. Beside each Play Store entry is a three dots button. Pressing it allows you to download the application right then and there instead of having to open up the app page. For people who run down through lists and download apps quickly, this is a huge time saver. Additionally, they've removed a few things from the old Play Store that caused the experience to be slower. When downloading applications, you will no longer be hounded by the annoying Keep Shopping page. When you start to download, it'll go right back to the app screen like it used to, which can also save some time. The big change here is design. If you take a look at the old Play Store, it had a sort of magazine layout. There are no spaces between anything, and it all looks cluttered together with Google trying to get the most content out of the least amount of space. In the new design, well, the design is much cleaner. If you are entering the Play Store knowing exactly where you want to go, the new app design helps you get there faster. For those looking to explore and see what's new, the quick navigation and well-labeled pages help you do that as well. To be honest, though, not even the design is that different. The front page is no longer a cluttered mess, having been replaced by a much cleaner front page. Instead of a tiled list, it's now a card view similar to that of Google Now. Also, it's gone from a dark theme to a light theme, which really only matters if you are really fond of the dark theme. However, when you search through things, it's essentially the same experience. All the categories are still there. Top new paid, top new free, trending, and all that stuff is all still there. The categories follow the same color schemes, movies are still red, music is still orange, the apps are still green. So while there are some noticeable differences, the core experience remains the same so people won't have to learn a new system. Overall, we like the new design, but don't let the hype make you think this is something that it isn't. The light theme doesn't look as cool as the dark one did, but it makes the whole experience look more organized. The magazine view that no one really used to begin with is gone, replaced by an interface that's more ergonomic. Instead of tiles, we now have card style lists like many Google apps have these days. We definitely I definitely like that the Keep Shopping page is now gone. It was annoying and no one liked it anyway. We also like the three dot install buttons, which is great if you're installing something really quick. However, at the end of the day, we are not looking at a brand new Google Play experience here. It's fixed some convenience problems and it's definitely nicer looking, but the core experience is still pretty much the same. The same apps adorn the tops of each list in each category and even the color scheme is the same despite the theme change. So if you were hoping for something brand new and amazingly different, you may be disappointed. It's the same great Google Play experience we're all familiar with by now, with just a few tweaks here and there. If you take it for what it is, you'll have a lot of fun with the new Play Store. If you want to check it out, just hang tight as the new Play Store is rolling out right now to devices and you should have it very soon. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority App Guy. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our social media links in the video description.